We've got a really serious video today. Seriously delicious, that is. Mmm. Mmm, yum. <laughs> oh. <coughs> today we're preparing one of my favorite childhood foods, the GameCube controller, in one of my favorite forms to eat it, the sandwich. We have all the ingredients laid out here and one piece of bologna. This was the only one I could get a hold of, and I'm not even kidding. Like, in, in terms of fake bologna, that was the only fake bologna I could possibly find. We're gonna start by preparing this controller itself. Be sure to use safe handling precautions, as per usual. You'd hate to be munting all night after eating this one. And we're gonna wanna cut this thing into somewhat smaller pieces. Uh, maybe somewhere right along this line here. Once again, I am absolutely not joking. Mmm, delissimo. It's a very tough meat, apparently. Thoroughly clean your work area before continuing on. Then you're gonna wanna fetch your pre-made 3D printed box with shoulder button extensions. And essentially where we're going with this is this is gonna go in here. It absolutely does not fit. And my miscalculations will be my downfall here because I don't know what to do. I measured this box out really precisely and requested very specific dimensions and I'm, well now I just feel really bad. A little bit of a rip in the glove. Back when I was in the chef business, stuff like this would not fly, so. I'm just gonna trash that and continue without. So we're gonna put all the insides back in here in a delicate sort of chefly manner sort of a thing. And now where's my little start button? There he is. Thought you could get away, didn't you? You little dingus. Now thankfully we're at a point now where a lot of the violence is over with. Some of you more kindred uh, soft spirits who are watching can, can rest easy for a moment. And don't forget, you can always take the extra scraps, feed them to the dog if you need, just recycle, put it in the compost. Maybe just the latter one. I don't like saying that about the first one, because that's like, that. if someone takes that seriously, they're gonna... No one takes you seriously, Peter. You're making a sandwich. You're making a GameCube controller sandwich. I'm gonna wanna put a little bit of this. Stick them in here. And now these triggers push those triggers, which I think is awesome so uniform, so clean. It's not how the food is made, it's how it how it turns out. It could be made of poison, but if it tastes good, got yourself a sandwich. Prepare the bread. Even though this is fake, it smells like butter. So whoever made this, you, you got yourself figured out. Put down your piece of bread. I should probably use a plate. I don't want to ruin a plate. Now we begin decorating this sandwich. Make sure you're cutting your food with some very clean, Silverware. Wow, that doesn't really cut that. Maybe a hot knife would be better, seeing it as, as it is wax. I mean tomatoes, it's tomatoes. You know, we'll work on we'll work on the side ingredients after we get this part done here. Because this is this is the big thing. We need to make sure that this bread here has holes for all the buttons and control sticks. So that this actually looks legitimate like a like a good sandwich. Start off with our Ooh. Oh, cuts so smooth. Seeing as it's bread. Hmm. Yummy. Ouch. Mm. Uh, okay, yeah, don't bleed all over the food. And alternatively, don't cut yourself making sandwiches. Now, we wanna make this indented a little bit on the bottom, because this bread's pretty thick and it sticks up a lot more than the control stick. So you do something like that. It's definitely slowly getting more and more difficult as the bread weakens, as it gets slightly stale, one might say. A lot of the art of food is the appearance more than anything, especially if you're watching any YouTube video. As you can see, some of the black kind of shines through when this bread is flat against the controller. So what we want to do is make this part a little whiter than usual. And I'm just going to use these name tags that I have, because we can just Now 
And as you can see, that black doesn't even shine through as much. I don't think it makes much of a difference. I'm not going to do that the rest of it. In fact, I'm going to simply take this all off because the glue won't stick to it very well. It's not a bad, I not a bad idea for circulizing things, which is a word we use in the English language here. Very gently coercing the bread into correct circularity. You can get it nice and flush around it. We're gonna line up this D-pad just fine. Don't you worry, little buddy. Don't worry, pal. Just hang in there. We're gonna get through it. We're gonna make a game game sandwich. <laughs> Shut up. So that's pretty good right there. D-pad completely works, but it's just surrounded by bread. That's the difference. That's the video. That's the whole I hope you're catching on by this point. I hope you understand what we're doing. All right, buttons now. Big thing, bing, bing, bing thing, bing, ping, wing, hing. I'm curious as to what happens if you hit this with butane. Ooh, what do you know what bursts into flames ever so slightly? Just trying to get some of these crumbs out, you know. Not too bad considering I'm cutting holes in bread. Well, that's awesome. Enough pyrotechnics. It's time to put the edges all around this thing, all the extra ingredients that we have here. Man, it's so hot now. <laughs> Sorry, I laugh when I get hurt. I think that's weird. I think I gotta get that checked out. I think so. Mmm, -hmm. yummy, yummy, yummy. Sandwich, delicious. All right, now if I can figure out how to cut these stupid tomatoes, they're not stupid, I'm sorry. You're not, you're not stupid, I'm sorry. That said, I am gonna cut you. And we're just gonna keep layering the sandwich, very akin to a real sandwich, because it is a real sandwich. Like it's starting to look like a sandwich. Ow! Ooh, I will have the Z trigger here. Kind of have a piece of bologna on it because I think that'll be kind of an easy way to remember where the button is specifically. Doing a cool little trick here where you put this little piece of tomato here and it makes it look like this is just one piece wrapping around the sandwich. A lot of the time we'll use this in the food industry so that the customer doesn't know that they're just eating a plastic box. Um, that sort of thing. <sighs> I'm out of hot glue in the home stretch. Gromit! I've eaten too much cheese again! Uh... Ooh, oh boy, you. The only thing left to be done now is to, to clean it up and serve it to our, our beloved customer. Ah, I am truly beloved. My, what a, a delicious, delectable looking sandwich made entirely out of GameCube controller and real food. Although I would say there appears to be an overabundance of lettuce, I'd say there is also an overabundance of of yummy, so... <laughs> the only thing we gotta do now is test it out. <coughs> okay, I think... I think like every single button is sticking. But I... but it... But it tastes so good, though. 